Here's the items you need. Rubbing alcohol, a good degreaser like 409, some spray wax, microfiber cloth, clean paper towels, and the adhesion promoter. Okay, so now we're going to clean it up and we're going to use this really great degreaser. We're going to spray a little bit here on the rag and we're going to go ahead and clean this really well. Now I've already cleaned this one just to show you, but to demonstrate you want the rag to come out nice and clean just like this. Next step, we're going to use the scouring pad now that it's nice and clean. And what we're going to do is we're going to scour this up and scratch it up on the flat surface. We're going to go ahead and do that in order to make it stick where the tape is. And you're just going to want to do it right where it adheres to the tape. You don't want to do the outside trim. You can see that it's dulling it up and that's exactly how you want it to look. So just keep doing it until it looks about like that. Okay, so now we're going to use the rubbing alcohol. And the reason why we do that is number one is 3M recommends you use rubbing alcohol on the surface before applying any tape. So that will also clean all the shavings off of the 3M scouring pad. So we are about ready to go here. Looks nice and clean. Okay. We're going to now do our test fitting. And first thing you're going to want to do is open up the back door. That's going to give you a lot more room. Then you're going to go ahead and take the trim piece and stick it in the back corner. And you're going to want to push it back towards the back of the car. What that's going to do is stretch that rubber that's contracted over all the time you haven't had the window. There's another square plug here. That's going to push right in. Then you're going to put your pin in there. As you can see, that's a nice fit. We're also going to stick that pin in the bottom. Now, it actually, it stays there on itself, which is really a good sign. If you have any problem with the part bowing up a bit, it's only because the rubber is contracted and that you're going to have to probably enlarge this hole by about sixteenth of an inch. That's the hole here on the upper front. So once you've done that, go ahead and try to test fit it again, just like I've done. So it fits in nice and tight. So when installing the part, you don't want to pull all the tape off. You're only going to partially take off about one and a half inches on each side of the tape. The first part that's going on to the car is going to be this elbow piece. So we're going to really push it in there in the corner. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put it in that crease and up in there. So that looks pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and pop that one in. So, before you pull the tape, you want to make sure that it's in exactly the way you want it. And this one looks really good, so I think we're good. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull the tape. We're going to start pulling the tape like that, pressing down behind it. Just like that. Just like that. Keep pressing it until you get to the end. Once you get to the end, it'll just pop right off. So that one's all set, ready to go. The next one is you're going to start pulling that one. And pulling it. Make sure you don't break it inside there. There you go. Okay. That's a perfect fit. We're all ready to go. And uh, here we are. We're done. And we're going to use the microfiber cloth. The microfiber cloth is a great cloth to use because it really doesn't scratch up. But this gives it a nice wax coating on it. Keep her protected. Every once in a while, hit it with a little wax. And it's going to look fantastic. Well, thanks for tuning in on the YouTube video. I uh, hope this helps you install the Lexus RX 330. Rear quarter window, trim.